In 2014, we headed out one afternoon to the Peanut Farm Reserve in St Kilda to cover a second versus fourth battle. That is the St Kilda Sharks versus Diamond Creek. Now, Diamond Creek had just come off a loss against the first place, Darabin, and were looking to get back on the winner's sheet against the Sharks. Yeah, that's exactly right. We thought we were definitely with them for three quarters and really chucked our whole body at them and put a lot of pressure on them, just sort of lacked in that finishing skill. I think our inside 50s were, were quite similar. We just couldn't convert. And like you said, I think that last quarter sort of uh, didn't set the tone for what the game was and they kicked away, unfortunately. But we have every confidence now when we go to play them again that we'll, uh, we'll put in a four-quarter effort. Now, obviously, because you're amateur footballers, you only train two nights a week, how much of an opportunity does Grant have to go through with you what happened the previous game before now having to focus on playing St Kilda? As, yeah, as you said, it is an amateur sport. So, look, we try and do our best on Tuesday nights. We do a bit of an analysis of the previous game. But, like you said, as soon as that Sunday game finishes, you're looking ahead for another big game where we've got to play St Kilda, who are up on the rise and um, going to be tough competitors today. So we do, you know, a little bit of an al analysis and look at our weaknesses and our strengths and what worked. And, like you said, business uh, looks toward the next game. Now, one thing we just need to check is if you've got any of the girls doubling up from reserves to seniors today, because we know that Tanya Ernst did pretty OK last week. Zachary was playing reserves today. Yeah, yeah. So Tiana, actually, it was her first game back last yeah. week after breaking her hand. So mm. we sort of threw in the deep end, and she's put her hand up to play a game in the reserves today just to get some more run, and she'll be coming up into the ones as well, as will Emma Champion. So she played in the seniors last week, but it's getting a run today as well. And hopefully getting into some form prior to the finals. That was a big win last week as well for your Division 1 side, knocking off Darabin. Absolutely. It's the first time in their history, only the second time in the club's history that we've ever beaten Darabin. So fantastic for them. And they're in, uh, being led by Olivia Rami as their new coach. And they've really come together really well. And it's a fantastic win when you consider that 18 of them are new players this year. So um, starting to gel together and bigger and better things to come for them. Now, Steph, uh, you played obviously for the Bulldogs uh, at Eddie Had Stadium. Our co-commentator said you probably didn't get the rub of the green with the umpires because you got claimed high a few times for no reward. But from that whole experience, has that changed the way, say compared to two or three years ago, how you train and your attitude towards going about your football? Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. I think the Bulldogs as a whole didn't have a very good game. Um, we weren't as competitive as we would have liked to have been. And from a personal note, you know, I certainly didn't play um, how I liked, would have liked to have and didn't really step up to the occasion. So, yes, it has changed now. I think, you know, we all need to take a leaf out of Melbourne's book and get more competitive. Mm. And, you know, I'm going to train harder and, you know, do all the right things by myself. And um, hopefully my teammates follow and we can be better next year. But, yeah, certainly has stepped. The bar has risen, definitely. It's interesting that three weeks ago you had the front row tickets to the Mo Hope show at Eddie Had Stadium when she kicked three goals, which would have been great for you as the Bulldogs. Unfortunately, we now fast forward to three weeks. Now you've got to find the antidote to stop Mo Hope. Absolutely. And, you know, Mo's been a fantastic player for years. You know, I've watched, I've played alongside her for about eight or so years now. Um, and seen her play so look she is fantastic she's the x-factor especially in this St Kilda team and we're going to have to put our best defender on her and who's funnily enough another Bulldogs player so we know the ins and outs of her and hopefully we can stop her today. And who do you see is probably besides Darabin your biggest threat coming through St Kilda knocking off Melbourne Uni but you got the better of Melbourne Uni a few weeks before that. Absolutely, we did. However, that was a really, really tough game. So I think both Melbourne Uni and St Kilda can give it a real shake. I think um, apart from Darabin, who I think is just a step ahead of uh, us three, we are really, really close. So um, it could be anyone's game when it comes to the finals and hopefully uh, we're there in the last day in September.